Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what to do if we have low delta T through a heating system. I assume you have performed the test for airflow through a heating system and the results were lower than required. If you need to know how to test the airflow through a heating system, watch the tutorial titled Airflow Dash Calculating Airflow Through a Gas Furnace. If the delta T is too low, the primary causes are low gas pressure. Test the gas pressure with a manometer. Ensure that it is between 3.5 to 5 inches of mercury on natural gas and about 11 inches on propane. The wrong gas valve. If the furnace was installed on propane, either replace the gas valve with one for natural gas or install the proper spring in the housing labeled natural gas. Leaking return air ductwork. Carefully inspect the return air ductwork for leaks also use a type K temperature probe to verify the return air temperature is the same when it reaches the unit as it is at the return air grill. This concludes our tutorial on low delta T through a gas furnace. Now please stay tuned and watch a brief introduction to the super cool tool. It is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, Technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself as well as your customers to own this tool. It's less than $20 including shipping. The Supercool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.